Whereas if at the end of the line, you have a bunch of guys who really don't care about their job. They're just there to get a paycheck. They're just in there tossing boxes and boxes are falling off. And this is one example. Palletizing is a very small example, but there's a lot of things that, that are more mechanical type of operations. Like let's go with like assembly work. You know, a lot of like automotive, like they, they do, they use robotics for assembly and then they'll have like a torque gun. And then that torque gun that's tightening in a bolt sends the data back to, you know, a database that, that tracks that data. So that way they know exactly how tight that bolt got tightened down. And if that bolt didn't get tightened down to specification and alarm sounds, somebody has to come over and assist with, with that operation and, and find out why there was a quality issue in the first place. And then from there, be able to approve or deny whatever the quality defect is. And then you go into vision, right? There's vision applications where you can do vision inspection. You can also do vision location. So vision to locate parts, right? So that way, whenever you pick up a part, you always pick it up in an appropriate way. And there's vision inspection that can visually detect, like if there's any particular issues with the part, let's go injection molding, right? You're, you're shooting uh, a component like this, right? And maybe part of this, this corner here is missing. You can visually detect that hey that corner is missing from there or maybe this is black and it maybe there's some like white specks in it or like this has this white thing over top of it right maybe that's not supposed to be there and so you can very clearly detect that there's some type of foreign object on there and that you need to flag the system to have somebody come over and uh, assist it so these are things that are you're able to flag your quality people your operators and have them uh, inspect the scenario and, and see what the issue is. And, and another big value to this is it doesn't take a quality assurance person, right? It can be an operator, but that, that robotic system is gonna flag it and it's gonna say, hey, there's a quality issue here. It's gonna document it. So even if the operator passes along as a good part, it has been documented as it was a fail, right? And so if ever there, there's a discrepancy on that particular part on how it passed through, you can even know like what employee allowed that part to pass through. Um, so that's a big thing in like the automotive sector. You see a ton of that, but it, it can really apply to all industries.